In this video, I'm gonna show you how I create the narrow fans and the wider fans. The narrow fans are gonna be the ones that create the wisps, and the wider fans are gonna be the one that create the volume that go through. This isn't particularly the right way to do it, it's just the way that I do, it's my technique and how I picked it up along the way. But maybe you might find it helpful. So I'm gonna stop talking, stop fannying around. Fanny, fan. Mm. <laughs> Fanny. You can't say Fanny. Fan. So firstly, I like to brush them just in case there's any sticking together. So you can see the difference between what I've just brushed there and there. That will just help them open up. Okay, quick brush, 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 brush. Okay, wide fans, normal fans, volume fans. I come in, so I rest this side of my tweezer on the top of the sticky strip and I come behind the lashes I pick up my little bunch, I pull back towards me. I stick it back down to the base of the lash is at the base of the sticky strip. Place it down, just give it a little pat down, make sure it's on there. So I put the point of my tweezers right in the middle and I'm gonna slide it to the left, slide it to the right, to the left. So I'm always coming back into the middle, sliding outwards and then that just opens up nicely. And obviously this is far too many. But I do tend to pick up too many just so that I know I've got a, a pretty good fan somewhere. And I'm picking it up about halfway up, pulling it back. And then that little base there will come together in the glue. So that's a wide fan, so I'll do that one again. So I slide in behind, so at the top of the sticky strip. Peel them back. Place them back down, meeting the bottom of the strip with the bottom of the lash. Patting them down. Pointing the tweezers in the middle and pulling it one way, back to the middle the other way. I'm gonna go the other way again. And they don't always come out perfectly. So don't think that every single fan has to come out perfectly because they don't. So let's get rid of that guy. And we'll just keep going backwards and forwards, giving it a little wriggle, and there we go. So I'm coming behind, pinch in, peel back, and dip. And then that will together. So for a more narrow fan, we could do exactly the same pickup technique. So we come behind, peel back, place it back down, get the pat, and just don't push the tweezers out as much so just smaller movements so I'm in the middle obviously this is again too many let's get rid of some of them I've called so in the middle here I have a nice narrow fan pick it up pull it back dip that base into the glue just the tip of um, the glue you don't need to dunk it in because it will suck it up and it will become a nice narrow fan so I like to put the wide fans all the way through and then a few narrow fans in between just to create a bit of density so I'll do another narrow fan coming behind picking up my little bunch pat down doo, doo, doo. and narrow fans are really not even at all There we go, narrow fan. Sometimes an imperfect fan will occur, whether it's me trying to make a wide or a narrow fan. And something might happen where the two, two stick together here, for example. I will still take it and use that because when I pop it in the glue, it will become more even. But if there's a bit of a a denser part in the fan where two lashes are still together 
it just creates more of a denser part within the lash set. So I don't mind uneven fans. I'm all for them. So you don't have to stress that every single lash, every single fan has to be perfect because they're not at all. So, I mean, that's not an excuse to create a pile of shit and just throw it on the lashes, but you want to sort of control what's going on. If you create a fan and it's not working out and it's just a mess and you're like, just chuck it. Just get rid of it straight away. Don't waste time on it. Just chuck it. If you can't fix it, chuck it. Um, but definitely, if you are gonna spend time doing anything, spend time on placing it down, fanning it out. Take a second, see that's imperfect, but pinching it, take a second, pull it back, dip it, and then take a second to place it. Don't rush those steps, because otherwise you'll be spending more time creating fans and chucking them and creating them and chucking them so each step just take a second pause and then peel it back and then pick it up you know so that's how we do it well that's how i do it anyway i hope that's helpful to anyone that struggles with creating their fans um as well if you haven't got decent lashes that fan out very well you're going to find it impossible so you need to be trying out a few different brands before you find the one that works for you.